my black diamond makeup artist here thank you so much for coming to my channel like subscribe follow all of that thank you now today i will be doing a review on the covergirl queen collection which is awesome i love it i had a chance to use their awesome foundations and products um this is one of their really nice Queen Collection foundations. And they do, they're a three in one. Like they're really good. So they're going to prime your skin. They're going to um, put the color of the foundation on and conceal. So love, 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 love this. I had an opportunity um, to basically try this out. Let's see. Um, what was it? Last year. 2016 for the BT experience. Um, I was able to be a makeup artist uh, for the CoverGirl booth and we were demonstrating looks with these foundations and a lot of other lipsticks and brow liners and bronzers and everything. And today I am just here to show you how they work and why they're awesome. So I'm going to use two colors. This one is Q805 and this one is Q840. So I will be contouring. I will use a light color that's lighter than my skin tone and I will use a shade darker than my skin tone. And I'm going to show you how it comes out, how I like to contour these and just show you how really how, how good they look. Now first of all, I like to start off by using a nice brush. Sorry, I used this earlier. My face is washed and moisturized. But I did use this earlier. God, I washed all that off. Um, something of an airbrush feel to actually put it on is what I like to use for my foundations. So they will give just the perfect flawless look. Okay, so let me get started. I'm going to start out with a lighter color. Put a drop on there. And I'm going to go in the T-zone for the lighter areas of my skin. Lighter color in the T-zone area. I'm going to pack it a little, a little, but not too much. So I've spotted that kind of all over in the T-zone areas, T, T, in the side, T, T-zone. Now I'm going to go in with a darker color, which is 840, and go around that T-zone and start to blend. Blend both of the colors into each other. It's coming out to give me the perfect shade. Same thing on the other side. So it does conceal. It's concealed most of my spots. Put a little around my eyes just to give an evenness to my skin. And then I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade one more time just to give me a little extra coverage, but I didn't use much. And um, I think this is really good for something to just kind of an everyday foundation if, if that's what you need. But I'm gonna apply a little more here and here in my red spots and my blotchy spots. There we go, hair stuck. My face, there we go. So, I think that my um, I'm so red right here. I think it's because I exfoliated today. 
Okay, so I'm going to put a little more right here. Just to hide that exfoliation. Because it's red right now. But yes, that is how I contoured with the color. Kind of all over areas of the face. T-zone first with the light color and then go around with the darker shade if you are looking to contour. Now contour just adds dimension to the face um, and gives you kind of little areas. If you wanna do a darker shade in here, you can do the same. But let me continue. Now I am going to go ahead and use this beautiful bronzer by the CoverGirl Queen Collection. Very cute. The color is Q10 and it's called Brown Bronze. Now I'm gonna take this color, swirl it around, dip off any extra excess so I don't want it falling all over me. And I'm gonna start here where the tragus of your ear is and go back and forth on your sideburn and go back and forth. This is gonna give me more definition with the bronzer than just contouring with your foundation. So this is gonna give you extras. I'm gonna go back and forth with this color and you can lightly see the difference, but you'll see what I'm done. Other side, it's a really, really pretty bronzer. I'm gonna use it here on my forehead just to give me a little evenness. I'm gonna use a little here to contour the chin a little bit. And go around the spots. Now, I'm gonna do a little on the nose. Just a little bit. And if you want a quick look and you're not looking to do eyeshadow, dust this baby on the eye to give you some color, okay? This is a makeup artist's golden secret to doing something quick and getting out of the house, but still having a nice blended, contoured face. I think it's cool. This is great for an everyday look. Now, to spruce it up a little bit more, I've got more. Uh, CoverGirl, again. These are their brow plus liner powder. So you could use these as liners and you can use these as brow powder. I love them so much. I use both colors because I get like that. So, cause I want that good, 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 good brow. So I use both colors. Um, the darker color I will always use. I think there's only three shades, but this is the darkest color. And I use it from the middle to the end of my brow. And it has a little thing in there too. You shake it around, that's what's making that noise. But I think it makes it even easier for the everyday girl to use a brow liner. It's so easy, cause it's not too pointy. It's it's really cool. And look how smooth that was. And I, I didn't even use a brush yet. So again, same thing on the other side. Not gonna spend too much time on my brows today because this is just demoing CoverGirl's product because I can get very in depth, but I'll save that for another video. So stay tuned. Now, that's just a dark powder. You can go out of the house like this too and look nice and have some brows on. I didn't do much, but hey, it looks like I did my brows. Now, I'm gonna use a little bit of the lighter color here and blend it through here. Just 
to give it a full complete brow not too much don't don't do too much up there just right there that's good not too much I gave it a little extra on that side so I guess I can give it a little extra on that side too yeah nice little brow right <laughs> very cool I love these y'all go get these these are so easy for brows I get people telling me all the time I can't do brows I can't do brows you can now. You got one of these. Okay. So, also, mascara. Everybody loves a good mascara. And this is their Fosh Lash Drama. Love it. It really gives drama to the lashes, y'all. It is, again, from the CoverGirl Queen collection. Okay. This stuff is awesome. Has a very nice brush to it little gives definition to the lashes this is the part I like okay so I'll show you And you don't have to do it much to get a nice little definition. I think that's wonderful if you compare side to side. Yeah. Okay. Other side. I know when I complete this look, y'all yeah, gonna be like, okay, cover girl. Cover girl, cover girl. And me, because I'm a diva, I like to do my bottom lashes too. I don't, I mean, this isn't a mirror, but let's try. I'm good at doing it without a mirror. Can work yourself out. Mm, got a little something, let's see. Ooh, and I don't want to water. <laughs> a little more on the other side, we'll do the bottom. All right, so that is the mascara. And one more thing from CoverGirl that like um, I can't forget, like ever leaving the house. Uh -huh. Lipstick, CoverGirl lipstick. I mean, they got the sticker on the CoverGirl part, but it's okay. This lipstick is beautiful. Get that number on there for y'all, 255. 255 is a beautiful, tempting toffee. It's really pretty. Let's see. And yes. Yeah. yeah. This is perfect for every day. Lip. Because it almost looks like a gloss. But it's a lipstick, so it lasts a little bit longer. And it's not... It's not gummy or sticky or weird. It, it's smooth. <laughs> I really, really like it. So, y'all, this is my everyday CoverGirl face. When you use the CoverGirl Queen Collection and a few extras from CoverGirl, you can easily walk out of the house like this in 10 minutes. So, yay, CoverGirl. I'm, I'm down with y'all. I love it. I love it. Um, it's a really good foundation. Um, very smooth lipstick. Beautiful bronzer that gives us a really nice shine. I don't know if you can see the shine the way my camera is. The brows, my favorite. 
I love these things. I love them. I love them. So that is the end of my CoverGirl review slash tutorial. Y'all go out there and get y'all some CoverGirl because it is mm -mm good. And I don't mean eat it. But um, go get some CoverGirl if you're looking for something that is affordable. It's going to work and you're actually going to wear it. And it's not going to like just sit there on your shelf or your nightstand collecting dust for a year. But they really have some good items. So yes, CoverGirl. Thank you, and people just remember to like, subscribe, and follow my page because uh, I will be making more videos. Oh, also, I will be putting up a video towards the end of the month for a CoverGirl giveaway, so please stay tuned for that. If you need to subscribe to my channel, I will be making a separate video showing the date and what you need to do to get you some free CoverGirl, okay? All right, it was real, y'all. Black Diamond Makeup Artist, and I am out.